Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today. Let's go ahead and try to recreate these flowers. It's so funny. I went online and I looked at Shemmy Dixon's and so these are kind of like hers but not. Then I found another lady online and I can't remember her name right now but I'm going to get back on and give you her um, her information. And I think they're more like her, they're a mixture between Shemmy's and, I think her name is JB Lady or something like that. So these are a mixture and I did, I did them so long ago. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to recreate them. Let's, I'm going to, I create, I have a bunch of, I have like, you know, blues and I have some pinks and I have red and white. You got to have white. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I also created myself some little palettes that I can just throw away. Just some wax paper cut into squares uh, to try to keep things a little bit more neater and uh more tidy. So I'm going to actually want to start with, um, let's start with a red. So, um, yeah, I just have to remember how to do it. Uh, I do think they're a con like I said, a combo between the two ladies. I, they're, they're neither, or, they're neither or. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, I must've done that. I must've comboed them even, you know, back then. So, um, so yeah. So I'm using just a small little uh, dauber. I don't know if these are like sponge brush. Yes. Oh, it's called a, a spouncer. <laughs> so a, a sponge with a pounce. So I'm going to use a couple of these. This Actually, just this one. And you don't want them to be like perfect cir circles, right? And I'm just going to make small flowers. I might make, Here, let me make one, one or two big ones. The bigger ones. Because I do like the bigger ones. You know? They're pretty. And so let's just get all the red on the page. And then we'll go from there. Uh, so that's good for that. Okay. And then I need to find some place to. Ooh, you know what I'll do? I'll use my iCAD. My iCAD book. And. Um, I'll just add some stuff to the iCAD book. This I was saying was a little plain anyway, so there. Take care of that. We'll add a little something, something. Don't want to add too much. There we go. How are you guys today? I'm okay. I'm actually not. Well, I'm not 100%. I, I've been. Like I said, I've been not feeling well, but I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm taking some stronger medicine now. Um, I went and saw my doctor yesterday, and um, I just I love my doctor so much that when I go when I move to the Pacific Northwest, where I'm from originally, um, I do plan on um, if I can, if I honestly, if I could, I would definitely come back and go just to see him. Um, I asked him yesterday if it, if it was legal to do that. He said, yeah, I mean, but who can afford it? And I'm like, well, I know. <laughs> but I think I would get in a car. I would get in my car and actually just make that happen because I really, I really do um, trust this doctor. I mean, I, he's got me on um, speakerphone, not speakerphone, you know what I mean, text, uh, Text. I can text him. Anything's wrong, I can text him. I mean, who, 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 what kind of doctor usually does that? Now, the last time, now I've been trying to get away with that for a long time, you know, and finally this last time he kind of got a little mad at me and he said, I can't keep seeing you over the phone <laughs> because I did take advantage of it. And so I said, okay, fine, I'll be, I'll come in. So I went in yesterday and um, he would not, um, discuss my issue uh, with me this time because uh, it's gotten you know I need to I need to get some stuff done and, and um, so yeah what a, what a great doctor though right how many doctors do you know that will uh, actually allow you to um, see them like kind of like whenever you want well, to a point, right? He's like, that's enough. You gotta come in now. Okay. Okay, Doc. 
I just don't like doc even doctors that I like I don't like do you know what I mean I'm not I hate going in I don't like I don't like all that so all right so now that we got some basic color down I want to put some white into here so um. This is making really cute circles on my... Isn't that cute? My iCAD book. Which, by the way, I'm loving. You can hear me over here pouncing, bouncing away. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Now that we've got... just, I'm just going to do some basics today. Oh, and then we're going to need to do some green, aren't we? So... But let's go ahead and get some white on these. Uh, what should I use for the white? I think I, I pulled out a, I pulled out a brush just for the white. I'm just gonna use like this, it's got an angle on it. Uh, so let's go ahead and use that. You guys, I'm running out of eye cads. I, uh, so I'm gonna be cutting up. I'm not, because I'm not going to, the, I went to the 99 cent store the other day and I'm not going back for a minute, so. Um. What did I get? Oh, I picked up some new um, wash uh, baby wipe cloths because I really love how they help. And then I picked up um, oh some more glue stick. And I picked up what did I pick up? Um, I think that's just about it. No a pair of glasses. They're they're really cute, but they're really strong. They're so strong. They're too strong for me. But I just love that pattern. So that was kind of a bummer. I mean, I'll wear them if I get desperate. Okay, let's just hope this works. So, I'm just gonna just stick some. Wow, oh, there we go. I think that should. These kind of make circles. Shemi starts these a little bit. She starts in the middle and then she goes like that. And then like that, which is better probably, but I'm gonna not because I'm gonna pounce these. You know, I'm going to pounce them with, um, what do you call it, black in the middle. So see, I didn't really actually do that to these, what I'm doing here, but that's okay. So maybe I don't want to. You know, I actually don't want to do it. I'll do it with these rose looking ones, but I'm going to do this again because, let's see. Yeah, that's how I want to do these. I just wanted to get real rough on them. These like posy kind. That's my, yeah, I like this way. <laughs> Sorry guys, as I go, but I'm just trying to remember how I did it and I'm probably deviating even from that, but that's okay. But I really like this look. The softer look than the, this look, but they're both fine. So you just decide what you like to do and you do it that way. All right, so now I have a, uh, 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 what do you call it? A dauber? Uh, I don't know what this is called. It's for... Sorry, guys, I can't remember. I don't know. Y you'll see what it does, and then you'll know what it is. <laughs> so. I hate leaving that red on there. I'm trying to find something to put it on. Here. No red and green, though. No. Oh, here's one. It's messy. There we go. All right. Stippler. Stipple? Stipple? Oh, I don't know. But you just kind of want to make it look like you're adding... See? Isn't that cute? That's how I did these, and I just love it. Right? Now, I don't know if I, was, if I used the the pins before or after but you don't even have to use the pins I don't have a good white pin right now so I am um, I want to get a I needed to write that down darn it I forgot the kind that I wanted to get oh shoot you know if I don't write stuff down I totally forget now aren't those pretty so I just love them I just really really love these flowers so let's go ahead and just do this here. That's fine. They're 
pretty too. I think the black really just makes them pop, honestly. They don't have, they, those roses just turned into like a poppy. And I like them, I like them better. I like this kind of uh, white better than this kind of white as well. So I'm gonna go put that in there and I'm gonna put that in there and then I wanna make some more. And then we'll go around them. Cause actually I love these. I'm gonna make some more, uh, I've got blue, but let's do like a purpley lavender -y kind, okay? So how are you guys today? Are you okay? I hope everybody's okay. Am I out of frame here? I think I can go like that more now that I've got. And I will put this here as a reminder to stay right there. That's gonna be my reminder. And I will go this way. Um, gosh, I'm feeling okay today. He actually gave me some antibiotics for my stomach. Antibiotics scare me half to death, so I'm like, but they were like, he just gave me samples and said, here, take these till they're gone. And I'm like, and he goes, they're antibiotics. They're just specifically for your tummy. And I'm like, okay. And then I'm thinking, no. <laughs> so I took them because I stockpile medicine. I'm really bad about that, but I will stockpile it so that I have it. And um, now I'm not stupid. I will call him and let him know. I mean, if I don't feel better, I'll take them. But right now, I think I'm going to feel a little... I think I'm going to feel better. So, I will... Not stupid. I will call him and tell him, Dr. D, you know, I didn't take your advice. I decided not to take the antibiotic. You know, just that's just how I'm going to do it, you know. And I think he's going to be okay with it. He knows me well enough to know that that's what I'm going to do. And another thing is, I'll tell him, uh, <laughs> you know, um, what I need. And he'll listen to me. Um, like one time I said, listen, I want Nexium, but if you're going to give it to me and expect me to take it every day, then don't give it to me because I'm not going to take it every day. You know, I just won't take that stuff every day. There's no need to take it every day. I take When I start feeling uh, like heartburn really bad, either I'll take a chew or I will... Um, it's too close. Or I will... Um, just take two Nexiums, where you're only supposed to usually take two, uh, two, one. But I'll take two, and I'll be fine for two weeks. I won't have any issues. So he's like, fine, that's fine, I don't care, that's fine. You know, so, but I do let him know what I'm doing, like, you know, so. But he knows that I'm not an idiot, you know, I, uh, I sound like one of them, don't I? All right, enough sick doctor stuff. Let's talk about something else. I don't know what else to talk about. Um, got nothing. So I'm just gonna do ought. Let's just do this. So there's a purple. I think I wanna do another blue one. I really enjoy those blue ones. They're so pretty. Maybe blue and purple. Let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. Is it gonna be weird? Only one way to find out. Excuse me for a second. I'm gonna dauber these off on my iCAD page. Book. Oh, that a little wet. I didn't get it completely dry. That's all right. That's okay. Yeah, I don't have much um, energy today to do much more than this. I think the blue would have been prettier on top. Okay. I 
think once we put the white on it, it's gonna really pop. All right, so let's get the white. And I'm gonna use this again for the white. I guess I should wash it out somehow. I'm using a towel right here and it's not, not so great. The water got dirty really fast. This one's pretty, I think I just got blew up my nose. <laughs> pretty sure. It's a good thing I'm not on. Pretty sure. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's nice. You'll have that. As Liz would say, you'll have it. Okay, let's do a little white now. Oh, now we gotta do some leaves, don't we? I'll do some ways. Let's start with this one. Oh, they're good. I have those right here. Pretty. I like that. Okay, so let's stick that in there. And let's pounce. Stipple. Is the stipple over stippler? Is that what it's called? Stipple? Stippler? I don't know. I, don't know. I love this basic. I think uh, as, I know I say that, but as the these get, but you know, you can't get as many colors in this basic as you can in the small bottle. So I don't know, maybe not say that. I won't say I won't. was wet I think but that's okay we're rolling with it see that's cute right isn't that pretty let's let that go oh yeah I can tell that it's wet because it's making them not as stipply looking okay that's fine though all right let's put that back in there Let's let these dry over here. Let's go ahead and find some green. But the first thing I'm gonna do before I do that is I'm going to go ahead and draw some leaves with a thinner marker. Um, let's go like that. Okay, there's the, that's good. Now, we'll find some green I like. There's one called Lush Green that I like. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna make the Lush Green with this shiny. This isn't Lush, this is that Kiwi, which is not my favorite, but there is one called Lush that I really like. Here's a Celery that isn't too bad. Here's the Lush, I love this Lush one. Those are my favorite greens. Are we still videoing? Yes, we are. So, on that note, I'm just going to go ahead and use, I'll use this large one. I just want to, I want the, um, I want it to still show. So, I don't know how I'm going to use I'm just going to put it on here. Just, yeah, I don't mind if it's, you know, kind of kind of transparent, translucent. 
Oh, I'm using, this is the um, Martha Stewart now, and I'll just go right like that in there. Very careful in life. Not the most careful person in the world. Well, well. Mm. Honestly, it's okay if, if you're just really sparse, actually. I forgot. You can let the book, you don't have to cover them. It's actually better if the book shows through a little bit. But, I mean, like, actually like that, you know? But I put out a lot of paint, so let's use the paint. So just remember, if you want to let it go, you can. Okay. So, let's let that go. Oh, it's going to be so... I'm going to let this dry while I cut some of these. I like that while I go around some of these flowers, I think. Um, it's going to be... It's already almost 80, I think, in my condo. No, it's like... Seven, well, it's almost, almost like 80. And, um, yeah, it... Uh, I don't really have a white pencil that I like. You know, I thought I bought some. But I didn't really. I bought paint. I really wished I would have bought... Wished... Wish, wish I would have bought. Here's a Sharpie, but it's not thin enough. I need some white gel pens. Anybody got any idea? That's the one. I'm, oh, this one, right? But remember, this one comes on. I haven't even tried these since I found out. Wait. Yeah, I haven't even tried these since I found out uh, that they probably work. Just, yeah, these are the ones I bought. Paint pens, though. Actually, that might be okay. Let's do one of these. Um, are these dry enough? I don't know. I should probably hit them with a heat gun real quick. Let me put this on hold and hit them with a heat gun. Oh, back. Okay, so let's just go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like I did on these. I'm just going to do like squiggles around them and then squiggles inside. And uh, look, at the, look at that. So just kind of around it really like, like that, right? Nothing perfect. Perfect, just the way I like it. Now, let's just try that white pen. I don't think it needs it on this one, but let me see. Oh, I don't know. I like them the way they are, I really do. Why mess with something when it, it looks good? So let's just go ahead and cut these out. I like them the way they are, I really do. So let's just cut these out. Throw them in our stash and have them for a, a grab and glue. Have them for, you know, you can make pretty cards out of them. You can swap them. You can, you know, I mean, not swap, like, but I mean, put them in your swaps, put them in your junk journals, put them in your, um, just as a little something something. You can bling them up. You can put them on music sheets. I thought about using music sheets today. I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't. Keep some of these bigger, um, bigger pieces. So that I can use those for other, other things. Aren't these cute? So even the ones with the white are pretty, but I, I just like the softer look of the white. And I'm not gonna edge these, you probably can. If you want to, you can edge them. So, but I'm not going to. I just think they're great this way. I just really love them the way they are. And uh, see, these are the ones I made before, so they're real similar. And I made yellow and purple. Now it's nice to have this red and blue. So yeah. Good thing I stayed home today, though, and I'm hoping that I can make it in tomorrow. Um, it's hard to discuss, but yeah, it's sometimes sometimes you just need, <laughs> you need to be home. Trust me. Oh, got it.
See, I'm not being precious about it at all. And I think the messier, the better, actually, for these. So cute. And I'll show you how, and then we'll just do it. I'll just cut these out, and then we'll do that. Well, I might want to cut them all out. Just get them done. You guys can hang out with me while I cut them out. My daughter's at the beach. I think she went to Malibu. Do you guys know who Pete Rose is? She went with his daughter. Well, it's actually not his daughter. Actually, he's not married to... Um, what the, I think her name is Kathy. <clears throat> her mom. Kathy's mom. She is the sweetest lady. I met her. Lauren met them through golf. And I met the mom. And we hung out one day while the kids were golfing at a tournament. And um, she's so sweet. Oh, she's adorable. I know I sound like a name dropper, but I'm totally not. I'm really not. But here's another one for you. Oh, my gosh. I'll put the picture at the end. You guys, are, I forgot to tell you about this. The other day at my daughter's um, graduation, I spied. Do you guys, did you ever watch Millionaire Matchmaker? And her name was Patty. And she was so rude to everybody. She's like... Your hair's got to go. You're ugly. You, you. Who dressed you this morning? I mean, she was like, like that. She was that bad to like the girls on the contestants on the show. I. So what they did was they all gathered at her. She's like a mil, she, ma, million. Oh, I forgot to go. Millionaires would get her, call her to find them a, a, a wife or whatever, right? And um, so she would get all these girls together and um, have a party like a like a cocktail hour, right? And um, uh, she would interview the girls first, like, right? And then when they'd show up, I mean, she'd literally have some of them like turn around and she was awful. Anyway, she was at my daughter's um, graduation ceremony the other day and I was sitting up in the stands and I looked down and I went, oh my God, to the lady behind me who I had no idea who she was. I go, do you know who that is? And she goes, no. I go, did you ever watch? And I told her who she was. And she goes, no, I never watched it. And I go, you didn't miss much. And so I, was, I started just snapping a bunch of pictures of her. And then her, her husband, I think she married this guy, um, saw me. And I've got a picture of him, like, staring at me. <laughs> and I just, I don't care. I just sat there, click, click, click. Because there was a girl in the way. And then I just kept clicking until I, and then I got, and then I saw where Patty's actually looking at me, too. You know, people around here don't, like, care. Because you see a lot of it. A lot of it. I mean, a lot. I'm telling you, there's, they live here. And, um, but it was just, I just, for some reason, it's just kind of funny, you know? I thought, ooh, I could show her. So she's like somebody I was going to tell you guys about anyway. You know, because you don't live here, so you're probably going, oh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, like I told somebody not too long ago, my daughter went to school with Lionel Richie's um, youngest daughter, Sophie. And uh, Lionel Richie showed up at her, um, a lot of her stuff, but especially the real special one was he showed up at the uh, father-daughter dance. Oh, I'm making a mess of these. Look at, they're mixed media, we don't care. And, um, but he didn't sing or anything, obviously, but it was really cool because here's my daughter dancing next to so so Sophie Richie and her, her dad. And he was really sweet. He was there one time when I was there, and I just backed off. I don't say anything, but he actually came up to me, and I was like, um... These are still kind of wet. But I was kind of um, sitting off to the side. Like, I don't, I'm not a, like, autograph hound or anything like that. Right? I don't, uh, that's embarrassing, right? Even I, I don't go that far. And um, so, but there was, like, a school thing, a function type thing going on. And uh, he was there, and all these people were, like, surrounding him. And I'm thinking, really? The guy's at his daughter's thing. Leave him alone. But he saw me sitting back and just not... You know, I was like way away, like, you know, but he literally came walking over towards me and shook my hand and said, oh, my daughter knows your daughter, right? Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, they hang out. That was, oh, I gotta tell you. So they live in Lake Sherwood and that is not far from here, but definitely not where I live and definitely not how I live, right guys? I mean, I live in a crappy little condo in the middle of like this, these beautiful homes. But anyway, um, so they live in Lake Sherwood where Tiger Woods used to have his, um, what do you call it, tournaments. He doesn't anymore. He hasn't been, well, I don't know if he's, he's not having them anymore. I think he's too busy. 
taking care of his drunk driving. But anyway, um, so that, my daughter went, one day, she calls me, Mom, can I go over to, you know, Sophie's house after school? And I said, yeah, it's okay. So, because I, I knew that the Manny, not a nanny, but the Manny always picked Sophie up and took her home, and it's fine, you know, I, you know, they're, oops, they're more safe there than, than anywhere else, right? So, anyhow, so the Manny picks him up and takes him home, and here comes my daughter a few hours later, and her, like, she looks at me, this was the first time I realized she's, she's gonna, she's gonna realize what, you know, that we're not rich, right? That, that she's gonna see the difference. I knew it when she went, what it was gonna be like when she got home, and when she got home, her eyes were so wide, mom, their house is gorgeous, mom, it's got this, it's got that, mom, it's got this, it's got that, and then she said, mom, her mom's closet is bigger than our condo. <laughs> I said, yes, honey, and it always will be. Those are the people that we will never, I will never own that. So just FYI, and by the way, you know, her daddy's Lionel Richie, honey. He's world famous, you know. So anyway, that was funny, but her eyes were like, oh, my God. And Mom, anything she wanted, she just told the nanny or the manny, get this for me, get that for me. Like, I said, well, what did she want? She said, oh, she just wanted, like, um, butter noodles and stuff like that. So, see, even they just like butter noodles. Just like me. I love my butter noodles. Especially when I'm in a hurry. <laughs> right? You anyway, know, so I'm just kind of drawing roughly some leaves in here. There we go. And then I'll cut these out. And I'm going to kind of like leave the, the, uh, see what I mean? Leave the outline. Because I think that looks good. So there. So anyway, so yeah, so my daughter's, in, I think she probably went to Malibu today. Nice, huh? She's got a charmed life and she doesn't even know it. But I told her, you know, Lauren, you got to get out there and get a job. These kids that you hang out with, they don't have to work, you know? And you do. And so, but she's only got two weeks off before her summer school starts. She's going to have to take summer school. And I don't mean to stress her out, but I said, well, while you're doing nothing, the other kids that are in our position are trying to get ahead. And those, they're out doing something and you're not. So it's, they're going to be ahead of you. There's, you know? You know, there's jobs that are getting taken right now. There's, you know, housing being, you know, t taken right now. You know, I get it that you want to have a couple of weeks, but why don't you just take a couple hours and do something productive tomorrow, you know? And so she said she would, but it's, she's 18 and I don't know, guys. I want her to have a fun summer. I do. And I want her to have a fun childhood. I do. Because I know that life comes at you fast. Because it does. <laughs> right? It really does. And so... Let me just... And this one's a little bizarre. Let's fix that. <clears throat> well, this was an easy one to do today. Because I was hoping that I could get something out up for you, um, but I didn't feel good, you know, and, um, I slept in, and, and then I, uh, I did nothing. Honestly, I haven't done anything. I haven't even watched any videos. I watched a movie last night called Fences. Have you seen that with, um, Oh, yeah, I shouldn't even mention movies. I always forget. Denzel Washington and that other girl that was in The Help. Oh, my God, she's such a phenomenal actress. I don't know her name. But she was in The Help. Oh, she's so good. And I love her so much. She's the one that she told that little girl in The Help. You remember, you was kind. You was smart. You was important. And I always remember that. Makes me, you know. Makes me, so there you go, guys. What do you think? There you go, some blue ones up here. Red ones. It's 
So there you go. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I think, um, like I said, you could mod podge over them, make them shiny. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait to see what I'm going to use them on. This one looks like it does have a little sparkle on it uh, from before, my old ones. But, um, so I think I haven't forgot anything. I'm not quite all the here, so, but I think that's good. So I hope, again, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you make some. If you make some, let me know. And, um, oh, I need to come back on in a minute and give you guys some names. I will be right back before I say goodbye. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm back. So, okay, I've mentioned Shemi Dixon before, and she's done it, and she does it more like this, I think. Um, and I don't think that she adds the, uh, the black centers. So, where I got that was from a lady called JB Lady. And she's wonderful. So she's the one where I actually got the um, the daubed centers, and uh, so I, I it's kind of a mixed mashup of both. So <laughs> anyway, so take a look at both uh, both ladies and see which ones you like the best, and or mash them up like kind of like I did. Okay. Um, anyway, okay. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.